Hi everyone, Emma here. I wanted to show you a purchase that I got from AliExpress and do it kind of stimulated a review of all Delica beads or types of Delica beads. And I say types of Delica beads, the, the name Delica, I guess, is copyrighted I guess with the, the Miyuki Delicas and that's these ones here that were made with the Miyuki Delicas um, but I think the name is interchangeable with the um, the bead shape so that's why I said Delica like uh, and I'm just pulling out a few here to show you the shape see understand what I'm talking about if you haven't seen these before so I'm just gonna pick up a few here let's enlarge this for a sec and see if I can get that in focus so they're um, like like a cylinder I guess is the best way to describe them there we go. So you can see they're like a little tube, cut tube. And you can see they are, now these ones are the treasures, but they are very uniform in size. And the reason that's important is because of the way they're used in beading projects like this, it's important that they're uniform so they sit side by side and they create a specific shape and size and length so that's those guys there so what I'd like to do is as somebody had mentioned to me let me bring this out a bit so I had a conversation with somebody on um, in the comments and I can't remember which video or who it was but they asked me about these beads on AliExpress and it just so happened like the night before I had been searching AliExpress for different things that maybe we haven't seen yet and things I can create some fun tutorials for and I came across these beads. So what I did was these ones here, this is how they come. Um, the store is called uh, Priority Glass Bead Store. And these were $1.66 Canadian for 12 grams. Now they advertise them as 10 grams, but when I read the reviews, everybody said thank you to the seller. They included more than the amount indicated, that kind of thing. So that was really nice because on some level, like I've gotten stuff and I didn't get all that I ordered. So like I was shorted kind of thing and definitely when you're talking about beads you you're not going to count them and they list them by how many um, by the count but um, and then 10 grams as well so anyway I went ahead and ordered them so I once I got them I was so excited when I saw now these are probably the brightest ones that I got and I'll go through and show them to you and I'll show you all the ones that I got and I'll review them. But what I'm also going to do is talk about the different Miyuki or uh, Delica like beads because there's not only these kind of knockoffs that when we get to that, I'll tell you my opinion on them. But there's also um, Toho Treasures is another Bead, and that's actually the one that I showed you the first one here this is Toho treasure number one and that was the two little beads that I showed you so these are amazing I love them they're extraordinary the colors are amazing um, but you know the prices are up there so a tube like this I just checked art beads right now and this is Sunday night let me give you a date, September 12th. And the reason I say that is they do have a 30% off sale on some of their, it says they're best selling items. So some of them are on sale, some aren't. Their price range and these tubes, it says is eight to nine grams. Um, 
these tubes cost between three and four dollars American. So, and depending on what state you're in, if you pay tax, um, you know, you have to incorporate that into the price of what you're buying. And for me here in Canada, I got these, now I got these, they were 50 cents a tube. <laughs> So <laughs> there's that. I like waited and waited till there was a massive sale. And then I spent days on their website, combing through everything, finding anything that was on sale and just buying a bunch. I think I have like six bottles of these and I have a whole bin of every color you can imagine. So you, here's some up here, but, um, for us here in Canada, too, um, I noticed my first, say, 10 orders I got from Art Beats, I never got uh, dinged for duty. But the last two, I got dinged quite a bit for duty, like in the $70 to $100 range, which was hard to accept when you get that. And the second one, was a free order that I got with my loyalty points and I had to pay $70 in duty and tax. So I was not happy at all, but I was like, you know, whatever, just pay it and move on. Like there's no point in freaking out. It is what it is. So I think with Art Beads, and I, this is just kind of an aside here, with Art Beads, um, they were listing on the duty um, slip the value of zero and I don't know they must have got I don't know if they got fined or if you know they were told they had to change that so it was after that that I started getting so I haven't ordered from them since those last two orders that I got dinged the thing is I can't figure out how much I'm paying for something if once it gets into the country, I'm all all right. I'm paying another hundred dollars on top of it, something like that. So it just for right now. And of course, you see what I have. I have way too much stuff already. So there's that. So let's move on. So anyway, these I would suggest if you're wanting to stock up on some of this stuff, wait till they have they have their dollar bead sale yearly, and um, you know just keep an eye out like these I got between 50 cents and a dollar for different ones but these ones I think were 50 cents so anyway there's that so there's those so let's take a look at these here actually you know what let me talk about the prices on the others so the Delicas I looked up the current price of a tube of Delicas from Miyuki Delicas from Art Beads as well and they were of course the eight to nine gram bottle is um, on sale right now is three dollars American so I mean that's that's expensive now I mean if you're just buying one or two and doing a project here or there that's fine these do go a long way it seems like oh my gosh there's tiny there's nothing to it but for one of these <laughs> I like used up that many of the tube so you're going to make a lot of stuff with this. Now, if you're doing something like this, you're using a lot more beads, a little different, but so there's that. Um, so yeah, the Delicas. Now I did look up the price of the Delicas uh, from the craft shop that I order from. And I have to say, I'm a little sticker shocked because I was mixing in Delicas with some Miyuki seed beads and Miyuki seed beads are super cheap. It ends up being like between a dollar and a dollar twenty-five for ten grams, which is awesome. But these were actually the same price as art beads. So uh, I think what did I figure? Three dollars for nine grams from the craft shop. So there's that. Anyway, I have so many. <laughs> I won't be buying any anymore anytime soon. Here is these guys here, these ones that I got on AliExpress. Like I said, they were $1.66 for 12 grams. So um, I guess if we did it by the gram, well, 
anyway, it's like a crazy deal. So we need to review these and see how good they are. So let's go ahead and well, let's compare the shape and size, for instance. So these are the Delicas. And you know what? They are true to their name. They are teeny tiny. Um, so this is the size of this bead. I think this is 13 across at the widest point. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take another one that I did with the treasures and show you the difference in the size. So I don't know if you can see just by looking at it, these treasures are bigger and it actually, they must be longer because this part here looks stretched out. Now let's just put one on top of the other. So you can, it, you know, from like 13 across at, at the widest, you're getting maybe one whole bead lengthwise. Let me see. It's there's not really much difference in the the length this way. So the the width of the bead that way. So just to show you, it will distort your pattern if your pattern has a specific image. So there's that. You have to. So these are the this one here is the treasure. This is the delica. Now let's go to these lovely beads. They are gorgeous but they are also bigger and you can really see. Look at how wide this is. So let's take a look. Kind of get them adjusted here. Yeah, there are a whole bead more. Um, let me see from top to bottom. I think they're probably equal. Yeah, they look like they're the same. maybe a tick difference so yeah so they're a whole row bigger over 13 beads so there you go so there's that so just remember if you're doing stuff with some of the the knockoff beads so there's that but having said that i made this with i, I what i did was i started doing the colors that i got in side by side and an interesting thing came up when I got them I was so excited the colors look amazing but then when you start putting them side by side you realize the color difference is so slight now what I did notice and you can kind of see it in these guys here is the really dark or bright colors are amazing so like the silver and this blue is pretty awesome, but definitely this copper color is amazing. This one here is a copper and a pink. Um, this is gunmetal and slate gray, I think. So, and then you, when you get to this one here and you can see, you can't, you can hardly tell the difference. They're so color variation is so um, slight. So just be aware of that. This, these metallics were from this priority glass bead store and they were the cheapest of all of them. Now you have to be careful when you're ordering, check how many beads are available. And you can, if you're not sure how much those beads equal in grams just go open up a search window in google and google how many beads makes a gram or something like that and and then do your calculation and the reason i say that is this store has this price of like now it, i notice it's slightly higher now the price um so clearly i got it on sale and then um the other thing is when I started looking at some of their other beads, they're listing, you know, say like Delica style beads for, um, 
$2.25, something like that, but it's only 600 beads. This package that's 12 grams is 1,860 beads. So be careful with that because you know it's going to happen. You're going to get your order and there's going to be like this much beads and you're going to be upset. <laughs> So be so careful. It's it's a lot of work looking through these things because of that. But so let me move these guys aside and let's go through each of these colors and talk about it because um, definitely some of the colors are better than others. One of the comments that I saw consistently in the um, reviews of these beads specifically was... Um, that the finish comes off if it gets wet now I've been working with these guys and you know it takes me I don't know between a half an hour and an hour to make this and I'm constantly like with my hands and I've got lotion on my hands and they're sweaty and the heat and stuff nothing came off so I don't know if it was a bad batch or what um, I did notice though the ones that aren't metallic so like the opaque colors got a lot of those comments so I am going to order some of those and see and test them out and do a review of those as well so let's take a look at these these probably are my favorite of all of them the color is amazing the beads are great they're like I said they're wonderful to work with they're very uniform I the only thing I did come across was um, some of the beads were attached and let me see if I can find one here for you um, certain colors had that more than the others so this one here let me see if I can find one I'll, I'll uh, come across them with the others so these I didn't find any that were attached and it was like something like this where you had two that were stuck together but um, these are amazing so this is this color here and you could see how nice they sit together so definitely if you're doing something like this I would absolutely it but I mean this is a unique situation because I'm trying I'm taking something that is circular and I'm trying to recreate it with square beads or tubular beads so of course you're really going to notice the different edges and whatnot but they still do you see the this was done with that with these beads so I mean these are awesome so yeah, I, they're amazing. I don't know if there's too much bad to say about these guys. And they came super fast. Let me see. I'm just going to pick a few up to see if I can show you. So there's... So they are awesome. Okay, I will take a look at my AliExpress here and tell you. They came super fast, so that's why I want to tell you. I think it might have been no more than two weeks. So let me see. It was ordered August 23rd. Um, and I probably got this two weeks ago. I Yeah. So it was between two and three weeks no more than that so that was that's always nice because you know sometimes you're waiting two or three months for this stuff let's see this is the one of the golds there's a bunch of gold colors and you know what the colors are numbered so you know if you ask me what color I couldn't tell you it gives you oh wait no I'm lying I am a liar <laughs> don't listen to me uh, okay <laughs> so this one is bronze yeah that one's bronze 
just see if I can find this one. And uh, I don't know if this is bronze or not. There's one called Light Coffee, and it actually looks like that. And so there's a light gold, there's golden, there's gold. And then like the blue in here is like a turquoise, but it's called lake blue. Um, then there's, so they are calling them Delica. And then the turquoise is the green one, which I didn't care for. It's, uh, it's very faint. And we'll talk about that one when we get to it because there's some issues with that one as well. So I will say from looking at the images next to the colors, even though I can't identify which one's which because they're not they're not labeled or anything. Um, the colors are accurate to the images. So there's that. So this is these guys. And let me see. I think I see one that's attached here. So this one is not even, there's no, not even any, uh, like some of the ones that were attached, you could see where they're supposed to break apart. Uh, I just found one. So be aware. So there, there was these guys in there. Um, out of, so here's the size bag and here's this pile here out of a pile this big there was maybe two in them so as far as I'm concerned to me that's normal bead issues so you know where you have to pick out a bead because it's misshapen or whatever so for that price I am so not going to worry about it but I wanted to let you guys know that that's an issue so there's that. Let's see. I uh, I might actually take this and see if I can hand wash it with some soap and see what happens to it. I'll tell you if it runs. <laughs> I actually have some water right here. I should try it. Okay, so the next one is silver. And oh my gosh, it's just... Sorry about that. I didn't realize it was so bright. So, and now this is looking... Let me see if I can lighten that up a bit. There, back to back to where it was. The reason is, this is what it looks like. It's this like very kind of whitish silver again these these are amazing so yeah that is awesome they're beautiful so I'm just looking to see I don't see any that are stuck together they are awesome and yeah, so this one was made with that, the middle part. Very nice. So here is the, and I probably what I should do is contact the seller about this one. So that's, that's why I wanted to talk about this one. This one had a lot of ones that were stuck together. You can kind of see it in the package. But also, the finish is really uneven. So let's see if I can show you that. It's unfortunate because you look at these like this. They're gorgeous looking. But when you start to look at it closer, the finish is like it's not on everything. And put a few out here so you can see. So I don't know. I'm 
I'm trying to see, find one that's really, really bad. Okay, actually, I think one that's stuck together is, now again, it's, this is something that, are you really going to be looking at these that closely? But when you're working with them, you really see it. Okay, so those look like they were stuck together, but they came apart. Yeah, so when you're working with them and you have them in your hands, you start to notice this. Light. So there you can see the finish is not all the way. I'm going to bring the focus up here. There, you'll be able to see it now. So you see what I mean? It's really haggard, willy-nilly. So I was kind of surprised to see that. But, I mean, they're super cheap. So let me see if I can show you on here. Um, flip it over. So, I mean, you can kind of see a bit of the unfinishedness of it, but, uh, and then some weird shapes around here. But look at these at a distance. <laughs> You're like, <laughs> let me focus that. Are you really going to notice that? So there you go. You, you kind of have to make a decision on the quality versus the price. So that's all I'm saying about that. We have, look at this color. So I won't bother taking these out there. You can kind of see from the package. So these ones, I think had a few of ones that were stuck together, but not too, too bad. Then there's this color. I don't know if... Oh, my thing's out of focus. That's why it's bouncing all over the place. This is that light. Let me try something here. There. So this one, you know what? I think I am going to have to take it out because this looks washed out. And it's it's actually another one of these really nice colors. So, yeah, this one's really nice. This one, I don't see any issues at all with the finish. So, I don't know why the blue is an issue. So... the next one so then there's this one here so you can see this is like just slightly more brown than yellow but super close in color and these are lovely as well no problems at all with the finish then we have the turquoise so it's possible it's like these green and blue turquoise. This one definitely, this is it here. So when I put it together with the other thing, the color is not quite there. So you can see that same issue with the finish. Yeah, you see that one right there? There's like 
it looks like it's silver so the finish so there's a lot of that so this is not like reflections of light this is actually where there's no finish Okay, so there's that one. This one here is like a a light green and it is beautiful and there's no issues with the finish at all on this one. Really. I was really impressed. Oh this one's probably so this one let me see. Definitely the silver was one of my favorites. Let me and this copper color but this one is gorgeous and I don't know there's two colors like this um, I don't know if this is like a gunmetal but it is gorgeous so that's this one here the outline now it looks really black here but it has a blue tinge to it but it's definitely black ish that's it washed out so let me show you I apologize I, I was kind of avoiding pouring them out just because of my thumb after having surgery and I'm taking a break from my brace so. oh, look at these yeah they're beautiful no issues at all with these ones gorgeous yeah, I was so excited when I got these. Well, as you can see, all these things that I made. <laughs> I've been busy. Okay, and this one's a gray. So it's kind of like a gunmetal, light gunmetal gray. Really pretty. And then these, I was, you know, these are like um, rose gold. They are beautiful. And I thought I made one with that yeah that's the middle the alternate color and it was beautiful so the finish is really nice on these so it was only the dark green and well they call them turquoise green and lake blue the only ones that had issues with the so I have some water here let me um, test this and we'll put it in the water and rub it and see what happens. Just take a little tray here. Let me move these guys. Take some water from my water bottle. The things I do for YouTube. Ta-da! I would never ever do this. Oh, you know what? They're getting sticky. The water seems to be staying. And you know what, we'll take a tissue and, uh, and dab it and see if it comes off on the tissue. Let me grab one here. So, take a look. I'm just going to see if we can get some of the excess off. Move this aside. I don't know what people were talking about because it's not coming off. I will test the uh, the blue. So I would never wet my jewelry. I even try with my nail. Nothing. Try the dark one. Nothing. 
So let's try. So this was the blue that I used. So let's try this one. Put that in the water. I mean, come on. Who's going to do that to their stuff? Although, you know, I say that when I was doing the, um, uh, the malas for the yoga community here in uh, Nova Scotia, I would get people all the time. First of all, they'd ask me, can I shower with this on? It's a leather bracelet with, with fabric thread. <laughs> I'm like, no, take it off before you get in the shower. And then I'd get people calling me, can, can I, I would do free repairs, right? And I would ask them just to donate $5 to the food bank. So I would get calls all the time. Can I bring it over so you can fix it? It, you know, it fell apart in the shower. I'm like, are you serious? <laughs> like, the heck? So this is not coming off at all. So I'm uh, pretty stoked. It looks the same as it did when we started. So there you go. That is my review of these awesome beads. So let's adjust the lighting here. And um, yeah, they came out really cool. So definitely check them out. I will post the link for that store. And I don't know, did I show you these guys? Now my light is... Oh, because I don't have the other light on. <laughs> Duh! There we go. So there's a pair of earrings that I made. And there's a video I just put out on these guys. And you know what's funny? Is I must have used two different color beads here. Because they're different. <laughs> I thought I had the same ones. So there we go. There's my review of these awesome beads. So thank you very much. And we'll see you in the next video. Take care, everybody. Bye.